I hate stock splits. Let me, let me ask you something just since we're on the topic. If you gave me, out of the kindness of your heart, you gave me $5, and I turned around and gave you five ones, would you be any better off? I mean, would you? I mean, would you be, would you have more money in your pocket because you've got five ones now instead of just a, plain old $5 bill, would you be any better off? Of course you wouldn't be. It's the perfect analogy to a stock split. And I, the reason why I don't like them is because there is no underlying fundamental economic positive change in the company, Zippo, nothing. There is an absolutely no reason for the company to go up in market cap and value just as a result of a stock split. The company is no stronger was no stronger Tuesday than it was on Monday or Friday. Not even one tiny bit stronger. It's the same. You're not getting any more value because if the stock hadn't split and it goes up 10% and you owned one share of the stock that didn't split, your one share would be up 10%. It doesn't mean anything to me, and this is not the case, so don't go around telling me, well, Dan said it's a scam. It is not a scam. It's a perfectly legal, uh, legitimate thing to do. All I'm saying is it has no value to it. It is a sales ploy to bring in more money from the mom and pop investor that thinks cheaper is better. It is a ploy to attract the unsophisticated investor, somebody that knows nothing about investing, but loves Tesla, loves, loves Apple. And here's a chance for them to buy because man, I can get five shares for what I could get, you know, one share for just a couple days ago. This is a great deal. It's not a great deal. It doesn't matter. You're not gaining anything, but you feel better and you're more apt to get in. That is the problem. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.